And so when you look at this first neck brace that came out, and it had a carbon fiber strut that was two inches wide that had no movement to it resting on your fucking spine, mm. what kind of idiot would think that that's safe right, if I'm right. trying to protect my spine? Yeah, not a lot of logic It's resting there. right on it with no movement. I mean, that's just illogical. Yeah. So, so these things like that, it's like you, you kind of just got to look at it. Once you explain everything, you know, just because you can't lock something up at the highest point, especially in motocross, you have to have that flow. But then you get to the knee braces. Well, I didn't design the body to have 30 to 40% of interior and exterior rotation at the knees. Mm. That's huge. Huge. Right there mm. at the seat. That's massive. And so, again, then when you put you put knee braces on, well, now you're going to be bending at the hips. You're always going to be counterbalancing mm -hmm. it a little bit. Everybody says, oh, well, all the top guys wear them. Okay, well, let's go back 20 years and look at any rider yeah. that's ever hurt their knee. What did they have on? Knee braces. Right. Yeah. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, back in the right. day, knee, knee injuries didn't seem that common.